And then we have, of course, food addiction, which is not part of the DSM, but it, um, it's nevertheless a, a valid and reliable uh, entity. It's been established now for many, many years as a thing, uh, even though it's not in the DSM. But, you know, bulimia wasn't in the DSM. Binge eating disorder wasn't in the DSM. A lot of things weren't in the DSM once upon a time. That doesn't mean that it's not uh, a valid conceptualization or phenomenon. In fact, uh, in some cases, particularly in the eating disorder world, mentioning food addiction and more properly now, ultra-processed food addiction, is really anathema. And I, I know that word because I grew up Catholic. Uh, anathema <laughs> is a, a synonymous with abhorrent, hateful, odious. It's amazing the reaction that some people in the eating disorder field have to this notion. It's, it's really uh, quite uh, amazing. Repugnant, repellent, offensive, right? Someone or something intensely disliked or loathed. And I've seen this happen to some very famous and competent researchers who have tried to uh, present scientific data and have a discussion about this. So it's, it's amazing, despite the fact that over the last decade, there has been increasing research interest and a steady growth of scientific publications on food addiction, and it continues to be of major interest to clinicians and researchers alike, as well as to the lay public. And if you follow that curve up uh, and off the the, the square into 21, 22, and 23, you see that it's only increasing. It's not going down. Uh, more and more scientific interest uh, in this uh, phenomena is, is happening. And it doesn't mean that we know exactly what to do about it, but to acknowledge first and foremost that it is a thing. It is a phenomena. And it's been shown in animals and humans uh, many, many times now. <laughs>